Hey y'all, so I just wanted to do a quick tutorial um, showing you guys how to place an order with the Nail Art Studio and back in your uh, dashboard. So first of all, we're going to start with the Nail Art Studio. So um, you'll come to the Jamberry website. You'll click on Shop. Scroll down to Nail Art Studio. Click on that. Okay, and it'll take you to this page. So um, from here, if it remembers you, it's going to pull up all of your designs that you've created here. Okay. If not, you can click on Get Started Now. It will take you to the page um, where you will have to log in. And after you log in, then um, you can view your designs. So once you know what design you want to order, you can hover over it and it'll say View, Purchase, Preview, or Delete. You'll click Purchase. Okay, so it'll take you to the page where you can view it. And we can add it to the cart. Okay, see, now it's in the cart. So from here, we're going to click um, Proceed to Checkout. Um, just an FYI, the $6 fee is per order. So if you have a couple of different ladies who want to order their own designs, you should probably get their orders together before you place the order. It's going to save everybody money in the long run if you do that. So click uh, proceed to checkout. From there it'll take you to um, this page. You can scroll down and um, verify that you are the consultant. You want to get credit for this. Um, also, you can select the party, so I'm just going to select a party. Proceed to shipping. So we're going to um, come here and review the shipping information. Okay, so after you input their name, uh, last name, address, city, state, zip code, and phone number, you can go to proceed to billing. From there, You're going to enter in their payment information. Okay. So um, normally you'd be able to go to review order and then submit, but I'm not going to enter in payment information here. So um, from here, you just click review order and then submit. Okay. You could click um, PayPal or they could pay with credit card, whatever they feel more comfortable with. Okay. So that's how to do it through um, the Nail Art Studio. Okay, to place an order through your workstation, you're going to come up to um, My Account, click on that, and go to Consultant Login. Then you'll click on, you'll put in your username, email, um, and password, and then log in. From there, you'll be to your dashboard. You can click on Shop. Okay, so Shop. We're going to create a cart, okay? Okay, and you have your options here, retail or party, which is what we're going to do now. There's also personal discount, which um, will allow you to use your personal discount. Um, host reward, that's for after you close a party that um, was closed with rewards available. You can click that and redeem those rewards for them or for yourself. Um, the Jamberry Print Shop is where you can order uh, business cards, address labels, um, coffee mugs, you know, fun stuff like that. Uh, marketing products is where you can get more sample cards, um, you can get more cuticle pushers, uh, host join brochures, things like that. And then inventory is where if, if you wanted to, you could um, actually hold your inventory. You could actually order and that would be um, showing in the system as you have your own inventory. Not very many people do that. Um, I personally don't do that because I don't really see the point in doing that. There's so many different designs. If I carry inventory, I'm going to be carrying around a bunch of wraps. So, And I have enough as it is. <laughs> so here is um, retail or party. So we're going to click that. Okay, so we're going to name this example two. Okay. So, and then you can select um, what party it's with. So we're going to select that one. Now, um, if you wanted to use your own address for the shipment, you can click Use My Address and it will auto populate your information down in the shipping address section. Or if it's for the hostess, you could click Use Party Address and it will auto populate down there.
So we are just going to enter in a different name. Okay. Okay. Address. We'll just say that. We'll say Clovis. We'll say New Mexico. 8A101. And phone number. Okay. And then you can submit. Now it'll take you to um, where you can load up your cart. So let's say um, we want to order Trippin. It's from our new catalog. It's really pretty. I've got to order it. So we're going to add that to the cart and see it, it populates down here. And also you can see your cart total to the right over here. You can see the breakdown of um, shipping, tax, all that good stuff. So another really useful thing that you can do is you can uh, click select guest up here. And you could choose to shop for yourself or you could add a guest. Now you don't have to do this, but um, this could be helpful if you're placing a bulk order. So you can click add guest. We're going to add Bob because Bob likes nail wraps. Mm -hmm. Sure does. Bob doesn't have a phone number. Bob likes nail wraps. Okay, so save guests. Okay, so now we can shop for Bob. Bob wants white romance. Why? We don't know. So we're going to add that. Okay. Okay. So now we have two different things here. Okay. They're going to share the shipping, which is awesome. So actually everybody gets a discount on the shipping. Okay. Let's say we have another person who's shopping. Let's add Jill. Jill also has the same email as Bob because they're dating or something. Okay, so we're going to save guest. Jill wants um, Lady in Red. Let's do that. So we're going to add that to the cart. Okay, now we have three different people who are all going to share shipping. Okay, so what we can do from here, see, and now we see the individual totals. Everybody's going to pay 1801. Okay. Which is pretty good for shared shipping. So we're going to check out once you're done loading the cart, just go to checkout and see, you can make individual payments for each person. Okay. You can pay for the total or each person can pay for their own. Okay. They can pay using credit card, which you would enter in all of the information down here. They can use PayPal, which they would log in here and then enter in their shipping, I mean billing address, or they can use a gift card and you would just enter in the gift card code. Okay, so from here, um, each time you enter in payment information, it's going to ask you to verify payment, okay? Normally that would go through, obviously. So once all the payments are done, you'll be able to come up here and click submit order. And once you submit the order, um, it will send you the confirmation email or send them the confirmation email, um, letting you and them know that the order has been placed. Okay. So, and then once you place the order, you can return to your workstation. You can pull up orders. and you'll be able to see it. Okay. You'll be able to view it. You can click on the order ID and look at it. Um, you can check the shipping time. You can, um, check on everything there. So I didn't mean for this video to be that long, but I hope that that makes sense. And let me know if y'all have any questions. Thanks guys.